forty percent of Canada's total beef herd and seventy percent of fed cattle production uh, is in Alberta, and that's one point six million uh, head per year. Uh, and uh, Canadian, the Canadian beef industry cash receipts represent nearly ten billion dollars a year. Eight, um, six, sixteen percent of the total agriculture industry across Canada, generating an estimated 230,000 jobs. So it is vitally important to both the Alberta and Canadian economies uh, to protect this industry from the impact of the crisis. And that's why I am pleased today to announce that Alberta is launching our Fed Cattle Set-Aside Program as one of a number of measures uh, to help uh, farmers and ranchers. It will allow producers to hold on to cattle on a maintenance feed ratio for up to nine weeks, ultimately allowing the supply of cattle more evenly to match demand uh, and reduced processing capacity. Producers will be compensated for extraordinary costs related to feeding market-ready cattle uh, being held back right now. Uh, 400,000 cattle are currently backed up in feedlots, creating a potential crisis, as I said, for farmers and ranchers. The set-aside program is a per-head payment to the holder of the cattle until the inventory is cleared. An estimated time frame is 30 weeks. Alberta will contribute up to $17 million through the Agri-Recovery Agri Program, which is a joint venture between uh, the federal government and the provinces. An automatic 60-40 funding split is enacted when a disaster hits in the agriculture sector. It's, it's our intention that if there aren't any additional disruptions in our, our beef processing facilities, that uh, the backlog of, of some hundreds of thousands of cattle that are, that are backlogging up right now and that are reducing cattle prices and at, at sometimes having, having no prices available across the province, we are hoping that, uh, that this set-aside program will help to smooth out those, those uh, wild price fluctuations within the, the cattle industry. And as, as the Premier also mentioned, uh, we are in talks with Saskatchewan and Manitoba to be able to administer the, this program for, for them as well. Obviously, the majority of the cattle industry in Canada is here in Alberta. So it, we at the economies of scale, we, we have the expertise to be able to, to administer this program. And we, we are happy to do that with our provincial colleagues uh, across the country and also to continue to work with the federal government as well. Uh, on the developing the details, specific details of, of the cattle set aside program, and on that even of, of the weighing in and weighing out of cattle when they when they go through feedlots, and then on the two egg stability changes that uh, we're making when it comes to the hog industry and the potato industry, uh, twenty five million dollars is is estimated to be expedited in egg stability advance payments. So right now it's typically about fifty percent of an advance on egg stability payments are available to to these uh, industries through agri-stability and on the, on the hog side that works out to about $20 per head, about $25 million and on the, the potato side as well, as the Premier mentioned, the $50 million bulk purchase announcement by the federal government earlier this year, we're working with the federal government and the potato growers of Alberta to make sure that we can figure out Alberta's share of that $50 million to again help producers that have full, full potato barns of, of, of potatoes that obviously are, are perishable and something will need to be done with them due to the fact that uh, McCain's near uh, Lethbridge has, has been shut down for, for some time. And, and in addition to, uh, to the, on the beekeeping uh, industry, we are looking at uh, a 30 percent um, su support for hives uh, from, from neighboring provinces in, in Saskatchewan and in BC to be able to help the beekeepers here in the province of Alberta be able to build up their hives, especially in, in northern Alberta, there was severe overwintering losses. And, uh, and in addition to that, we're also looking at um, bringing in bees from, from around the world as well, also mainland U.S., to be able to, to build up our hives that uh, right now it's about 50,000 hives uh, short here in the province of Alberta. But we do think just across Canada we can do about half of that. And then also when it comes to, to the horse uh, racing industry, we are continuing to, to develop programs and, and support for that industry that again are going to have animal welfare issues of depending on how long COVID restrictions are.